Okay, everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, we finally got ourselves situated. We got ourselves a power supply module. We got a cargo bay module. We got, uh, what else we got? We got the fabricator, the, the wonderful fabricator, which is going to make us all sorts of things that we possibly need. We just need to find stuff for it. Uh, I was thinking about the circuit situation. I do eventually want to go to Bether. Uh, let's actually go to the fabrication module here quickly. Or not Bether. Uh, uh, <laughs> what was the civilian one? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, whatever one was civilian. Uh, look for fabricator. There we go. Yes, I did label them so I can actually figure where I'm going, even though I'm, I'm always lost. Well, I'm sure you can tell by my videos. Um, yeah, go to civilian where we can find things like the Tesla balls and whatnot. Because if we go to the fabricator, uh, the Tesla ball which is a common thing I found, the circuits. So we should technically be able to break that down to get one circuit if we can find it. Same with the lava lamp and coffee machines. So it's a good way to get circuits so we can go and make like uh, the high-end catalysts and servos and containment field generators and whatnot. Uh, today though, I wanna at least make one full warp cell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cargo bay and the power supply, and yes, I know I shouldn't, don't really need to take the power supply, but if I'm going to be mining, I may as well may as well take it with me. And what I want to do is I want to fill the cargo bay full. I don't care if it like basically fill it full of raw. Um, aiming to get eight ca canisters, which would be 1,200 units of each of them, and that'd be like the, the nitrates, the dry ice, the regular ice, the the regolith, and I think there's one other. Uh, I don't have a scanner. I could go checking out derelicts for it, but the warp cell situation isn't the greatest. I do have enough to take care of everything. Uh, and I've got drills, batteries, the whole nine yards set up. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go to the airlock. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh no, actually I gotta go to over here. So right now I still have the cargo bay or the power supply deep depressurized. What was I doing here? That's what I was doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this docking lever here. So that's going to keep it free. So when I go outside, I'm going to come on the other side, pull the lever on this side of the power supply, and that's going to set it free. I'm going to leave that depressurized. And the reason why I want, actually want to take that is so I can charge batteries. Uh, because of the fact that I don't have a charger on the ship anymore, I can't charge the uh, the mining batteries. I could take a whole bunch of batteries with me, but yeah, it's just inventory space. I was actually thinking about doing that, making like 20 batteries and putting them on the shelves in the cargo bay, but you know, that's kind of counterproductive. You know, trying to gain resources, not waste them, right? Alright, and we should be good to go. Alright, so now we go to the cargo bay. And the best thing is, is I can actually leave my ship attached to this and fly it just like this. So we're going to go to the other side, and yes, we have another repair I have to do. Uh, I probably have another welding tool in here somewhere. We'll go check it out in a second. And let's see what's going on. I have, actually haven't been on since last time, so nothing should have changed other than maybe the 10 minutes I've been on here. Uh, see what the integrity is. I have no idea because it's turned off. Can I turn it? No, I'd have to do it from inside here. But because everything's depressurized, I can just walk right in and I have a hull bridge. Of course. All right, the uh, cargo bay. No, that's not a cargo bay. Oh, post. I can't. Oh, yeah, I can turn it on from here. Turn the cargo bay on. All right. So now I just go and pull the lever on this door. And then I have two separate stations. Where is it? Is that going to be on the outside? Yeah, that's on the outside. All right. And there we go. I can probably open this now. Go right up to the ship. Let's 
That's one of the things I love about this game. Just whole station work like this. You gotta love it. Anyway, I'm gonna go inside and uh, I'll bring you back when we're at, at an asteroid. Okay, we'll be here pretty, there pretty quick. Uh, it wasn't too expensive. Someone had mentioned that uh, uses more warp cells when you're working with more modules, and I kind of had a feeling it was, but even then, this jump I don't think was more than uh, probably 8%. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so here we are. Here is the big old roid. Uh, I'm going to open up both doors for this. Now, I'm going to do something very, very risky because it has burned me before. I'm going to try to park as close as I can to it. So that way I have less distance to go between me and or the asteroid and the cargo bay. Uh, I have had a bad experience with this. Uh, luckily, I was wearing the Eve suit at the time. I had the ship. It was a mule, it was months back, back in January, I think. And I decided to stop next to an asteroid and do some mining. And what I didn't realize is even though I was parked, I guess there was a desync going on the server, and my ship just started to drift into the ship, into the asteroid. I looked back and I saw the bottom of the cargo bay, like the, the ramp just touching the asteroid wall. Can I match? Please tell me I can match. Really? Uh, let's see how close I am. Well, yeah, anyways, and then... Oh, actually, we've got lots of room. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate here. I'm trying to guess how big this asteroid is. And when the parking distance is, maybe it's only 200 meters. I'm hoping. But yeah, anyways, I, I got into the car, uh, into the cargo bay just as it was started drifting. In. I barely got in. I ran to the airlock, went upstairs, and by the time I got to the seat, the asteroid was already there. I couldn't do anything, and basically, I had to run outside before I died. And I had to sit outside the asteroid and actually wait for my ship to drift through. I was wearing the Eve suit. I had about 50% when I ship started going in. I got to go outside and actually have a look at this. I want to get a better view at it. But yeah, by the time I got back onto the ship and had a re uh, got into a, a pressurized environment, I was down, I think I was 2%. 2% oxygen on my ship was okay. Okay, my game crashed. Uh, but I had to come... Uh, basically, my game crashed. I had to go back to the autosave, which was just before I had undocked the uh, power supply. So, needless to say, I had to do that all over again and come back to the asteroid here. Uh, I'm pretty close to it, but I still can't get a, a parking marker, and I don't want to risk it. I've been trying to get basically a slight, slight drift away. Uh, like, I think I still have to be 100 meters. I think it was used to be 250, but I'm about 270 right now, and I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I did do an autosave. I have two drills, I have a whole bunch of batteries on me, and I have a couple extra canisters. And I'm just basically going to go in, fill two drills, come back out, and and see what I got. So, what do we got? Dry ice. I don't care about dry ice. I want regolith right now. So, that's what I do. I just go around and do test mines until I find what I'm looking for. Find more dry ice. Yes. Yeah, we really should go deadly exploring. More dry ice. But you get the idea. I don't know how far the pockets spread out. Uh, more dry ice. But yeah, this is what I do. So I'm gonna do this for a little while and I'll bring you back and I'll show you what I got. 
Okay. I'm finally, I'm finally done. I'm not going to lie either. And despite a few game crashes and a few other bugs and fortunately saved by saves and auto saves, I'm at about three hours right now. Uh, half that time was me hop, skipping and jumping around this asteroid trying to find the stuff that I wanted. Uh, needless to say, n nitrate materials is not an issue. Uh, ice, I found a few packs, patches of ice. Uh, dry ice once. Took me forever to find regolith. And believe it or not, I haven't found any heavy ice at all. But that is it. The, the cargo bay is completely full. So we're going to go in and see what we have. Uh, excuse me a minute. Sorry about that. Uh, something polite that I didn't want to uh, go into the recording. I could have muted my microphone, but that involves me handling it and making all sorts of noise. But uh, I actually lost two canisters on the way. Uh, whatever it was doing was changing. Because I would, would go out with two drills each with a battery and two spare canisters and the, dr the battery the drill will get you almost two cans so when the drill fills up I'll take an empty one I'll drag it just out in front of me I'll I use the, the where you hold R to actually remove the canister and it goes back into my inventory and I just have to pick it up uh, a few times Twice actually, uh, I put out the, pulled out the canister, and then I accidentally pulled out the drill, and the drill hit the canister. The canister went flying off. I lost one. Never did find that one. And the second time I did, the canister went one way, the drill went the other way. So of course I went for the drill first, and then went for the canister, and and whatnot. But uh, this is all ice I have here. But there we go. Almost two thousand regolith. Uh, that should get us close to 800 units of helium, which is a lot of warp cells and a lot of power. Uh, I got 1,200. Well, actually, this is the last of the ice here. Let me uh, just do this. Uh, got to charge all the batteries, too. Oh, my God. I went through so many batteries. I'm not even going to have room for all this in here. Look at that. It's completely full. So I still got out of 300 ice, so that's 1800 ice, and that's going to be hydrogen and oxygen, I believe. Let's actually find out. I know we get hydrogen from a uh, refinery. Refinery, please. Move that over. Yeah, hydrogen and oxygen, so that's good there. Uh, our regolith is getting our helium-3. And yeah, that was that. No, that's our nitrates, and this is just straight up oxygen, which isn't that big of a deal because it's the nitrogen we need, and of course we have plenty of that, so we're set. So now I gotta do a couple of quick little repairs here from Decay, and uh, get myself situated on, get this thing docked back to the station. So. I'll see you back at home. Okay, we're back at the station here. Uh, surprisingly, that was quite nerve-wracking trying to dock this thing back to the station because I knew I was going in sideways like this, and I've had issues where if you're not lined up perfectly, in some cases, sometimes uh, the part you're trying to dock to will go flying off in that direction, spinning on all, on all axes. But uh, I just brought you back to quickly show you this, what I've done here is uh, these shells here. Uh, these are my warp cells that are under 10%, and then the ones that are uh, above 10, you know, 14s, 28s, whatever I'm going to put here for for usage. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of the recycle these yet. Uh, I'm going to hang on to them for when I'm going to a moon and I want to go check out a derelict. I just got to jump from, change my orbit basically. I'll use those for that. Calm it down, but I am. I was actually wrong. Uh, I guess misinformed, or I read wrong about the 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 t 
turnout, I guess, on uh, refining the regolith. I thought, I thought it was 0.4, but it was actually 0.2, so we're only getting about 400 helium, but that's eh, better than nothing. Even one full, four, one full warp cell will last quite a while. But I want to go down and get some more stuff refining while I can. I know I can use the small refinery on the outpost, but this is bigger, does more, and is faster. Okay, so let's see how much regular, how much helium I actually have. Go in the refinery, unload that. So we have 395. Plus, I do have still 70 in the power supply, so that's good. I could still make a, a six pack of warp cells and still have enough for a full generator. All right, so I'm gonna get that refining now, and then I'll meet you inside. Okay, I'm inside. That airlock pressurized unusually fast. It was like one second, just and it was finished. All right, so, no, I thought that flickered. Let's go to the fabricator. Because we are gonna make a warp cell. I think I actually have to recycle something. Uh, that's what I have for fiber mesh, or carbon fibers. 48, we need two more. What gives carbon fiber? Fire extinguishers. I never use these things anyways, so that's in there actually hydrogen in here. Let's unload it. Let's see, attach point. Nitrogen, even better. That did unload it, did it not? Yes, it did. Okay, recycle you, please. And I did find out, too, if it doesn't actually have a recycling output on the tooltip, it still shows up up there. Alright, so one more. Uh, I think these... These give out carbon fibers as well. Let's find out. Do that. Oh, we get more for the refined. Ooh, even better. I have to keep an eye out for those. Uh, what else can we just recycle? Oh, wait, I think I have a, another one or two of those refined ones in the lifeboat we can recycle. Because uh, it is something I want to make. I don't know where we can actually put it up. I might have to, there might be a spot in the cargo bay, but there's too many shelves in the way. I came in here for something. Oh yeah, the containers that were on the floor, but they're not there anymore. That is fine, you know what? Sure, don't tell anybody, I'm scrapping a suit. That's okay, I got a spare one in the airlock, spare one in the ship. I think I have another one upstairs. Uh, fabricator, yes. Only three ways to go, and you'd think I'd be able to remember which way, but nope. So we do that. Seven and two. Go ahead and recycle that. Now we go in here. Now... Fabricator, we'll drag these over and those over. So it gives me 105 and 54. Now we're going to need some helium from the cargo bay. And we'll just drag over 78 for now. Choose an item to craft. Ooh, I will take a warp cell, please. Where are you? Aha, 2 minutes 40 to craft it. And there we go. You're crafting a warp cell. I like the printer idea. I hope they uh, improvise on it. Like, I'm pretty sure this is just a temporary thing. They'll probably update it so it starts going up higher and higher. I was trying to figure out what this pocket was down below, but apparently it's actually building it inside there. So when this lifts up, this opens up and it's inside. All right, uh, what else can we do? Uh, can we actually see our crafting list? No, we can't. So that's going to take another two minutes. Uh, let me look around, see if I can find something else to, to scrap and see if we can make a few more things. Oh, I see you, you, do, you DK. That's actually why I was so worried about trying to find ice, is we need that hydrogen. 
But anyways, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I looked around. I couldn't find too much. I was some gun but recycle recycling a gun or two, but I decided I didn't bother. But I remembered I had some stuff on the in the cargo bay and this stuff is actually really good for uh, the carbon fibers. So when I start looting, doing derelicts and stuff like that, I'm gonna have to start pulling that stuff off. Uh, those armatures they actually produce quite a bit. Oh look at that. It's the first full warp cell of the season. Where is it? Ooh, one hundred percent. Love it. Awesome. Let's recycle it. No. I will not be doing that. But that one warp cell should actually last quite a while. So that gets us a lot of stuff. Zap. So now go here and drag that over. And that over. And oh, uh, go back because we don't want to do another warp cell. So yeah, I'll make jetpacks packs and all sorts of stuff. Uh, sadly, I don't have any circuits for a coffee machine or a Tesla ball. I'm sure we'll find that. But I think... And I don't know where we're going to be able to put it. Let's go ahead and craft one of these. So hang on. Uh, give you some of that. Alright. Five seconds. Let's watch it. interesting you think how is it printing to the plate I don't know but we'll take our basketball hoop we'll go here we'll go back and we'll make the basketball it takes a second to make I honestly can't even remember how to throw now what was it hold G oh yes oh they changed the throw awesome now where can I put this hoop you would think that this is actually a perfect spot for it, right up in here. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, here? No, it was, uh... It was an alt or a controller. Something that highlights everything. Uh, let me figure that one out. I don't seem to see it anywhere. I remember there used to be a... It's like an alt or a something that you pushed that would show these little diamonds where you could hang stuff like posters and whatnot uh, cargo bay would be pointless Let's go check the lifeboat I highly doubt it but we'll check anyways again like where would I hang it nope oh that's new I didn't know they had the turret mount there no, it looks like the only place we could play basketball was on the mule. Oh, wait, I know, I know. I remember. I remember. There we go. So now, let's see if I can actually do this. I did it once with the resource canister. This is what we used to do back in the day when you were waiting for a warp. Play basketball in the cargo bay. They definitely did a good job on that ball. It's gotten better. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Maybe we'll make some noise or something. And that's why I don't play basketball. No. Uh -oh. oh. How did it pick it up? Yes, that's right. It'd be nice if they actually had like picking up animations. Okay, come on, let's do this. Let's end the episode with a. Uh, there we go, with a shot. But anyways, I'm going to call this episode here. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.